Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today I want to show you the easiest way to print glow-in-the-dark designs on t-shirts. Now just because I said easy doesn't mean we won't have quality. We're talking about using screen printed plastisol transfers today, which give you that same look, feel, and durability of a traditional screen printed shirt, all without the hassles of those inks, emulsions, squeegees, and that messy chemical cleanup. Using screen printed transfers, all you need is a heat press. No other supplies are needed, no cutters, there's no weeding, no expensive software or printers. I'll show you how you could go from an idea or your design and order your own custom transfers that ship out to you as fast as one business day and apply in just 10 seconds. Now, did I mention the minimum quantity start at just six too? Yeah. So are you ready to dive in? Let's glow. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already, subscribe. We're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. Glow in the dark prints are perfect for events year round, not just the haunted hay rides and Halloween parties, everything from cosmic bowling to golf, band merch, bar crawls, and even fundraising. Now, before we dive into designing, ordering, and printing our shirts, I want to cover a few tips to keep in mind when you're planning a project for glow-in-the-dark inks. First, it's best to use dark navy uh, or like black t-shirts. The added contrast really helps make your design stand out better when they're in the dark and glowing. Now, the same goes for big designs, solid shapes, thick lines, and bold fonts. Smaller areas and fine detail have a tendency to glow just a little bit less, or at least they're less noticeable in the dark. All right, and with those tips covered, let's pop on over to transferexpress.com and get started. Now here, we're gonna click on order transfers to open the EasyView online designer. All you need is a free Transfer Express account to get access to this online designer. There is no credit card number needed, no tax ID, no business license. Now there is a field for tax ID and that's just gonna stop us from charging you sales tax. But if you don't have a tax ID, there's a little checkbox that you could just click and you don't need one. Now here in EasyView, you could upload your own artwork right here using this upload button on the left-hand side or here in the getting started menu. If you don't have artwork, no problem. We've got a team of designers on staff ready to help you work on a glow-in-the-dark design. What's even cooler, though, is bringing it to life yourself right here in the designer in real time. Even if you can't draw a stick figure, you could design here in the online designer. I'll show you here with our example today. So let's say we need a design for a cosmic bowling night and some merchandise for a local planetarium perfect projects for some glow-in-the-dark ink. Now let's start by searching for our bowling layout. Here in the layouts tab, we have a sports section that we could click to, and then even in a whole selection here of bowling layouts. We could browse until we find one we like. Uh, here, layout QBW39 looks perfect. Next, with a few double clicks, we could update our text to replace this placeholder text here at the top and the bottom, and let's adjust our font over to something a little bit more retro click on the fonts right here and we could scroll or I know I want something a little bit more groovy like starlit and here we could just click and it updates our text and now we could bring in some new text for the bowl because the text here isn't really editable but all we have to do is click on add text here let's set it over to compacta as our font add an outline and then change our ink colors here in the edit menu and bam Everything is now set to glow in the dark inks and it's really coming together. Now let's edit the bowling pins here to be solid fill so we could swap our inks right here at the top as well. Now to add some nice little detail to customize this layout a little bit more, we could fly in some stars here from our clip art library and then there we have it, a custom design that took really just a couple minutes to create. Once that's set, Let's size it for a full front shirt at 11.25 inches wide, which is just enough to squeeze onto our full 11.25 inch wide gang sheet. Now let's toss this other graphic on here for our planetarium. And you can see this dotted line shows us the full area that we have for printing our transfers. Now this layout for the planetarium, we could use the search feature in our add layouts menu and pull it up. I'm just gonna search planet and you can see it pulls up right here. We don't need to change too much here. We'll just change the text. After sizing to nine inches wide, there you have it. 
we are all done. Now to maximize the rest of the space here on our sheet, I want to throw in some extra graphics. A little skull and crossbones just for fun or Halloween. And then yeah, a little fun ghost guy sized for like a cute minimalist left chest for that Halloween holiday. Now I did mention earlier not to do this small stuff like this, but nice bold fonts might make this turn out quite well. And now that we ordered our transfers and they have arrived, they're ready to press. Here is our full gang sheet. And as you can see, the inks do appear quite white when they're on the sheet. They'll look white on any apparel as well, but when they glow, they do have a kind of uh, green glow to them, similar to the glow in the dark, everything else that you're used to. Now to charge these up to get them to glow well at night, you don't need sunlight, although it works the best. Artificial light inside, fluorescence or anything else will help them glow when the lights go out. But let's head back to the press and let's press these shirts. So our first step is going to be loading our t-shirt here onto our heat press. I'm gonna open it up and thread it right on, but of course, if your press can't do this, laying over top is gonna to be a-okay. Go all the way on and just make sure on each side that we're nice and aligned, nice and center. I'll go all the way forward and then I'll back any collars, seams or obstructions all off the printing area so it's nice and flat. Now the first step here is going to pre-press. Every single transfer, every single time I pre-press the garment. Otherwise, your moisture in the garment is evaporating up when you're trying to put inks down, you're gonna have a bad time. Just pre-press three to five seconds and that's gonna remove any moisture and wrinkles, giving you a great, smooth, even printing surface. Plus, it's always a great opportunity to check the pressure of your press. There we are at a seven, right in the six to eight range that we wanna be for our screen printed transfers. Here's our nice cosmic bowling graphic. And now we'll just lay it down right here on, on our shirt. Now I'm gonna go just a couple fingers down from the collar because it is, uh, we do have these stars up here. So a little bit more or a little bit less, I mean, than the three fingers that we typically do. Now, of course, if you're uh, interested in getting the center of your transfer perfectly centered, you'd always crease it in half looking to the light. But here, I know it's fairly edge to edge because we maxed out that printing area and centered on this sheet. So here, we're just gonna put this right here. And once we're ready to press, we're going to press this one for 10 seconds at 340 degrees, and it is a warm peel. So we're gonna wait about five seconds after the press opens to peel our transfer. So let's do it. Now we'll wait about five seconds before we peel this to peel it warm. And how easy is that? Look how great that glow in the dark plastisol print looks on that shirt. This is a super cost effective and high profit margin tee for any apparel decorator right here. Now I hope that you are inspired and ready to light up your next project with glow in the dark screen printed transfers. Of course, here at Transfer Express, we're rolling out helpful tips for apparel decorators every single week. So be sure you're subscribed right here to stay up to date on all of the new videos. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.